Welcome to part 2 of adding the user app for the secure smart controls. In this part, you will learn to manage users via the secure smart controls app. The first part of this tutorial is for Wi-Fi connected systems. You can clearly see the Wi-Fi symbol on the front of your receiver. If this symbol isn't there then this system is Bluetooth only. However, it can easily be upgraded by purchasing and installing the optional Wi-Fi card. Always insert the card into a receiver that is switched off and make sure your phone is on your home Wi-Fi network before you begin. Once you have connected your app and entered your Wi-Fi password, you become the owner. You can now use the Manage Users section of the app to invite other users onto the system. You can invite and remove users from here, or even transfer ownership of your system. A user can change the schedule and perform all the normal tasks for programming and set point changes to the heating, but only the owner can change the Wi-Fi password and invite other users. Note that Bluetooth-only systems don't use Manage Users section at all and don't have any owners here either. More about Bluetooth-only systems will be explained at the end of this video. To invite users on Wi-Fi enabled systems, we recommend they download the app first to speed the process up. The owner then simply sends an email invitation from their Manage Users section of the app. The other user then receives the invite and confirms OK. They will then join as a user and have full access to the heating schedules. Should you ever need to transfer your system to someone else, all you need to do is first invite them as a regular user, then use the transfer ownership option from manage user section. You will be asked for your app password to confirm before the request is sent. All invites expire after three days if they are not used. For those receiving invites or ownership transfers, the app will alert you and ask you to confirm if you want to go ahead. For security reasons, you will initially first be asked to scan the QR code on the receiver the first time you use the system. This only happens once. You will possibly be asked about retaining previous users at this point. Select yes if you wish the other users to stay on the same system. If you select no, then all the other users will be removed. For those systems that have Bluetooth, the procedure is to simply choose add new system from the app. Then press the channel button on the receiver for 7 seconds to enter pairing mode. If multiple people are using the system with their phones, then say yes to retaining users. Remember saying no removes people and they will have to rejoin. In Bluetooth systems, there are no owners or invites and it is normal to have no information displayed in manage user section. Finally, if the system was being previously used with the app and you wish to upgrade to Wi-Fi, simply insert the Wi-Fi card when the power is off, then switch the power on and choose add new system from the app. In this case, you must select no to retaining previous users as the system has changed and now you will be asked for the Wi-Fi password, making you the owner. It means you can now invite people from the Manage Users section. This concludes part 2 of the Managing Users video for the new smart programmers range from Secure.